Kim Jin Young from Netflix's Singles and Fairness season two captured the hearts of fans and hosts when he arrived on the island. He strolled into the series with a cool guy attitude and an aloofness to him. Not to mention, he also had a bad boy edge. Many were enamored with his blunt yet charming way of flirting. While appearing like a Casanova on Singles Inferno Season 2, the UDT soldier reveals he has never had good luck with women. Before getting to know Jin Young, he established an air of dominance as a late male contestant on the Korean dating series. He showed off his bravado when he easily won the Capture the Flag wrestling match. By all means, Jin Young appeared confident when it came to flirting with the female contestants. In his bio interview, he said he only needed seconds to know if someone is the one. He also got brownie points for riding a motorcycle and enjoying spending time in the gym. But Jin Young gained a few chuckles and praise from the Singles Inferno season 2 hosts on his first choice date with So Eun and So Ki. While being a gentleman and cutting up their food, he bluntly stated, help yourselves. The women could not help but laugh the same ways the hosts did. Jin Young admitted to being nervous. Later on, in Singles Inferno Season 2, he had a paradise date with So Ki. She joked if he would carry her bag for her, and he was about to, but she joked she could do it, and Jin Young replied, okay, carry it. Many would think that Jin Young has a natural aloofness that works for his image, but many soon realized he has difficulty showing his emotions. It would lead to his demise in the Singles Inferno season 2 finale with Su Ki, but Jin Young revealed to Agent H that he has never been a Casanova. Fans learned Jin Young is close friends with Physical 100 contestant Agent H. Agent H invited his friend for an interview on his YouTube channel at Mission Impossible underscore Agent H to talk about his experience on the dating show, also his ideas of romance and Jin Young's ideal type. But from their discussion emerged the truth about Jin Young's dating habits. He was the opposite of what fans would have expected in high school. He explained he was the class clown and collected change with his friends to go to a karaoke bar. Above all, he would go home to watch One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto. A teen Jin Young was far from a heartthrob and he admitted he would freeze in front of girls. He explained, I was a broken machine. To Agent H's surprise, Jin Young revealed he never dated in high school and felt like he was not supposed to. He never even had a first kiss back in the day. Looking back at his younger years, Jin Young never developed the tricks of the trade when it came to flirting. It surprised him when Singles Inferno Season 2 fans found his antics charming. He said, Those are not what you would call pro moves, just saying help yourself. It's not suave and it's not sweet either. I don't mean to act that way, but I think that happens because I'm awkward with women, because I still have those habits. I unconsciously become awkward. Looking back, it was not too far-fetched that Jin Young developed a strong bond with Nadine, someone who made him feel comfortable, made him laugh, and had a strong persona. But to this day, he still gets clumsy around women. 